you don't do an experiment on the citizens of Toronto that can endanger their safety. Disability advocate David Lepofsky says it's an important interim victory for people with disabilities that Toronto's Infrastructure and Environment Committee voted to keep a ban on e-scooters. Because they're silent, I could have one whizzing by me and I don't know. So I'm blind. How, uh, there's no way to know until and unless they hit me. Arda Ertuk, the chief communications officer and co-founder of Roll Technologies, says his company is consulting with CNIB on a sound emitting device that could be integrated with their scooters in the future. Provincial framework is until the end of 2024, so we would still have time. Though e-scooters are currently banned from use, they can be found virtually all over the city. A uh, nephew and, and a cousin, both of whom have cerebral palsy, they faced having e-scooters um, on sidewalks, uh, abandoned on sidewalks, the impediment and even the threat uh, that, it, that it poses to them. Bylaws around the use of the devices ranges across the country. Hamilton City staff recommended today to allow up to three e-scooter companies to operate locally. Next month, the City of Calgary will grant permits to two shared e-scooter operators. A two-year pilot project there saw 200,000 users make nearly 2 million trips, but it hasn't been without issues. Amanda McKenzie of March of Dimes Canada says her older brother lives in Calgary. We call them a menace, with scooters being dropped anywhere on the sidewalks once users are done with them, causing obvious problems. With some also riding on sidewalks. University of Calgary researchers saw close to 700 emergency room visits for scooter-related injuries in 2020. That's roughly a third of the city's average for cycling injuries. Toronto City Council is slated to make its decision on the matter next week. We're urging all of City Council to unanimously agree with city staff, agree with the, rec the recommendations of their own Accessibility Advisory Committee. Jessica Ng, CBC News, Toronto.